Good morning. The time is 10.02. Today is Wednesday, February 24th. I'm going to go ahead and call to order meeting of the License and Variance Board. The first item on the agenda is item 3A, which is a public hearing B21-006. The request would be to reduce a rear setback from 30 to 20 feet for Landlot 526, located at 1335 Cliffwood Drive for Jarrett King as the applicant. Specifically with this item 3A, um, this board's become aware of, of what we've deemed as significant um, um, public input that that would be that would have concerns with this variance request and after conversations among the board along with elected officials the decision has been made to defer item 3a again which is 2021-025 b21-006 to defer that agenda item to the mayor and council meeting that is scheduled for march the 15th of 2021 i'll make that in the form of a motion second we have a motion to defer item 3a to the march 15th 2021 mayor council meeting has been properly seconded if there's any further discussion if not i'll call for the vote all those in favor of the motion please vote i'm going to i'm going to use my hand since i don't have the, the button and they do looks like the motion passed unanimously the next two items on the agenda, um, both are for 957 Share and Circle for Sylvia Zento Booker as the applicant. The first one is V21-011, reduce the side setback from 10 feet to 9 inches for an accessory structure, landlot 453-957 Share and Circle. I will go ahead and call Ms. Caitlin Crow from Community Development for background. And Ms. Crow, if you would, as typical, you know, just give background on both and we'll vote on both of them separately. Thank you. All right. Well, good morning, Caitlin Crow, Planner One Community Development. So I will go ahead and go over both variances um, and then if you have questions on either at the end, um, I can address them. So um, one of the variances is V21-011 to reduce the side setback from 10 feet to uh, nine inches. And then V21-012 to reduce the accessory structure rear setback from five feet to 2.6 feet. So the subject property is a 0.28 acre lot down at the southern end of Sharon Circle. The applicant is proposing to expand the existing non-conforming shed in the rear. The regulations pertaining to accessory structures and uses are located in section 501. Um, and the development standards for the R15 district um, do require a minimum side setback of 10 feet. The property currently consists of a single family home and two existing shed structures located in the rear yard. The existing smaller shed is to be removed per the applicant, so no second accessory structure um, variance is required in this case. The existing 144 square foot shed in the far northeastern uh, corner of the rear yard um, is a shed structure in the middle with two lean-tos on either side. So the existing shed in one of the lean-tos uh, will be torn down and replaced by a 192 square foot shed that will act as a storage area, home office, and a little craft area. The lean-to the, to the left of the structure will be removed, whereas the one to the right, which is the closest to the fence and the one nine inches currently from the property line, will remain undisturbed. The applicant is proposing the new shed in the same location as the previous shed, approximately that nine inches from the property line in two six, um, or 2.6 feet from the rear property line. The chosen location does allow the applicant for most use out of her yard and has existed since the shed was created in 1980. Several neighbors around the subject property do have similar sheds with non-conforming non conditions and Along the property line currently is a six foot wooden fence, which does provide a nice buffer between her and her neighbor. Strict application of the relevant provisions would deny the applicant any ability to replace the existing shed due to its current non-conforming conditions. The adjacent building to the east will exceed the 10 feet of separation from the subject property, so no fire uh, suppression system is needed. 
Community development believes the variances required uh, or requested are reasonable and are the minimum variances needed. If approved, community development believes there should be no adverse impact to the surrounding neighbors. It has been properly posted with no site distance issues. After reviewing the variance application, staff does support the request and recommends approval to reduce the side setback from 10 feet to 2.6 feet, or excuse me, 10 feet to nine inches, and reduce the accessory structure rear setback from five feet to 2.6 feet with the one following um, standard condition. Approval of the requested variance shall be conditioned upon the development of the property in substantial compliance with the site plan and elevation submitted with the variance application. And with that, I can answer any questions. Thank you, Ms. Crow. Any questions for staff? Your microphone, sir. Just looking through the paperwork, there is a photograph of a proposed shed. Is, is um, That's not the shed. That's just to give us an idea of what the shed would Correct. look like, right? Correct. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions for staff at this time? Thank you, Ms. Crow. Um, Ms. Uh, Sylvia Zinto Booker, are you present? If you could please step to the podium. Good morning, how are you? Good morning. So you just heard Ms. Crow read into record officially, you know, the summation of, of, of your request. Uh, do you have anything additional to add that was not covered by Ms. Crow? Um, the people that are building the shed didn't provide like an elevation. We will have it painted the same color as the house with the same white trim. So the idea is to have it look very similar, um, like an adjacent structure to the home. So it should be visually appealing. Okay. And it's just, I'm fortunate enough to work from home, but my working location in the house is a little tight. So we're looking to have someplace a little more comfortable. <laughs> okay. You also heard Ms. Crow read into record, <coughs> excuse me, the, the one condition, are you, are you, um, do you accept that condition? Yes, I do. Okay. Any questions for the applicant? So because um, the request that you have, it actually spawns two different, we have to vote on each one separately. So um, after we vote on this one, when we get to the next one, I'll simply just ask you if you have any additional information to add. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So this is a public hearing. If there's anybody here that would like to speak either for or against item 3B, I would ask that you step forward at this time. Let the record reflect that there is no one in the room other than staff and the applicant. Um, if there's no further discussion, I'll entertain a motion for 3B. I make a motion to approve 3B31-0011, uh, reduce size setback from 10 feet to 9 inches for an accessory structure landlocked 453. At address 957 Cherry Circle. Second. We have a motion to approve 3B that's been properly seconded. If there's no further discussion, I'll call for the vote. There we go. Mine's working now. Okay, motion's approved 3-0. Next item is 3C. Public hearing variance request V21-012, reduce accessory structure rear setback from five feet to 2.6 feet, landlot 453-957, share and circle. Ms. Crow, is there any additional background for this? Okay. Uh, Ms. Uh, Zinto Booker, do you have any additional information to add? Okay, any questions for staff or the applicant? This no. is a public hearing. If, you, if there's anybody here that would like to speak for or against, 3C, I'd ask that you step forward at this time. Seeing none, I'll entertain a motion. Motion to approve V21-012, reduce accessory structure rear setback from five feet to 2.6 feet, land lot 453 at 957 Sharon Circle, uh, owner Sylvia Centeno Booker. Second. I have a motion to approve that's been properly seconded. If there's no further discussion, I'll call for the vote. Motion passes unanimously. And I just realized in that motion, I've probably been pronouncing your, your last name incorrectly. I apologize for that. 
Next item on the agenda is 3D, public hearing B21-010, side setback reduction from 10 feet to 5 feet for an accessory structure, landlot 413, 3261 South Cobb Drive, Valvoline instant oil change. Item 3D, by request of the applicant, it will be withdrawn. Um, so I'll motion to withdraw 3D by request of the applicant. Second. Motion to withdraw, it's been properly seconded. If there's no further discussion, I'll call for the vote. Motion passes unanimously. Last item on the agenda is 4A, approval of the minutes for license varies from February 10th, 2021 to hear motion. Second. We have a motion to approve those minutes, and it's been properly seconded. If there's no further discussion, I'll call for the vote. Well, I can't get my button to work. There we go. you got to love technology, right? Motion passes unanimously. That was the last agenda item. I'll adjourn this meeting at 1013.